I hope you guys are all having an efficient day. Easy Auto Fix here and today we're going to learn symptoms of a clogged fuel injector. If you want to learn symptoms of a leaking fuel injector, click at the top of this video to check that out. The whole purpose of the fuel injector is to open up for a specific amount of time to allow proper amount of fuel to enter the engine to mix with air and spark to create combustion. Some reasons a fuel injector could clog are due to a bad fuel filter letting small amounts of debris pass through. Or if you live in an area where it snows, you know the salted streets is a huge contributor to corrosion. Now if your fuel lines start to get corroded through time, this will eat away the metal and can transfer to your fuel injectors. Another factor could be the type of fuel system you have. Most cars have multi-port fuel injection nowadays. But some newer cars have gasoline direct injection. This type of injection is known to cause carbon blockage on the fuel injectors since it's right inside the combustion chamber making it easier for the leftover fuel to heat up on it. Here's the location of a fuel injector on a Nissan Sentra. Here's the location on a Suzuki Forenza. Here's the location on a Ford Fusion. And here's the location on a Toyota Camry. So the first symptom you might be experiencing with a clogged fuel injector is having your check engine light on. Here's some codes related to a bad fuel injector. If you have a clogged fuel injector, you should also have a code for lean condition. A lean condition means you have more air than fuel ratio in combustion. Now lean conditions can lead to misfires, so you should also expect these codes as well. This can help you diagnose to see which fuel injector is clogged up. Now you can read these codes by going to the parts store near you and they'll most likely do it for free. Or you can buy the scanner that I have that's worth it, linked in the description below. Now you can still have clogged fuel injectors with no check engine light, so let's move on to the next symptom. The second symptom is a hard start or a no start at all. A clogged up fuel injector will either not let fuel pass through at all or restrict the exact amount needed. If the engine isn't getting the proper amount of fuel per air ratio, it's not going to be able to combust efficiently, leaving you with a hard start or a no start. The third symptom you could be experiencing is an acceleration delay. Now if you press down on the gas pedal, the throttle plate will open up, bringing in more air, and when there's more air, the ECM should command more fuel. Now if the fuel injectors are clogged, they will not provide the proper amount of fuel at the rate in which the ECM is looking for, leaving you with a delayed acceleration. The fourth symptom is a stalling engine. It's Saturday afternoon, you're having a great day. You're driving to the mall when all of a sudden, your car randomly turns off. This happens due to the lean mixture created by the clogged fuel injector. If you're gassing the pedal to increase speed on the road, this is going to bring in more air. Then the ECM should be increasing more fuel. A clogged fuel injector won't let the proper amount of fuel to be released at that split second, leaving you with the stalling engine. The fifth symptom is a rough idle. You'll feel your car shaking at a red light or a stop sign. This is due to the lack of fuel being released from the injector into the engine. Lack of fuel to air ratio leads to misfires which creates inconsistency causing vibrations in your car. If you think you might have a clogged fuel injector and want to save some money, try using the cleaning chemical in the description below before buying a new one. It's also not a bad idea to clean the fuel system every 50,000 miles to prevent your fuel injectors from clogging up. Fantastic! We just learned symptoms of a clogged fuel injector. If you guys like videos like this and want to learn more, make sure to check out my auto symptoms playlist, like and subscribe so I can see you in the next video.